Today we're going to talk about my new favorite operating system, and it's from Microsoft. Weird. Hey there everybody, this is Tom from Tom's Tech Show, and today I'm going to be talking about kind of my new favorite version of Windows. Okay, so we all know that you get a Windows machine, you get uh, crazy apps and games and garbage and junk. All the reasons why when I bought my, I don't have it here with me, my Signature Series, my Microsoft Signature Series laptop that I bought that had Windows 7 on it, the reason I bought it from the Microsoft Store was because there was no garbage installed apps. There was no demo apps, there were no trial apps, there were no, none of that was on the box. It was just Windows clean, nothing else. It was fast. It had all the right drivers in it because it was, you know, Windows Signature Series, so all the drivers were certified and everything else. It was nice. Then, of course, Windows 10 comes out, and from the get-go, you've got, you can install Office, you can play Candy Crush, you can do Disney this, you can do all this other garbage and it ran like crap, it's slow as crap, it's garbage. And Microsoft needs to take a huge black eye for it because they will not back down from loading all this garbage onto consumers' computers. If I want to load a game or I want to do something about a game, let me do it because I bought the PC, it's my hardware, I should be able to do that. I shouldn't have to worry about you know, this trial of this or this trial that you accidentally click something and it starts loading and installing stuff. It's horrible. It's really horrible. I'm really, you know, I mean, that right there was the reason I took all of my regular computers that I have that I don't need some specific Windows program and I ran them all. They're all on Debian Linux now. Any computer that doesn't need some specific Windows app is on Debian because of Windows 10. Well, if you happen to purchase um, a certain level of uh, Microsoft licensing, um, you can get a version of Windows like that. We have a um, uh, Visual Studio uh, subscription um, at my work and we you get in that a version of Windows called Windows 10 LTSC it used to be LTSB, but they've renamed it for some reason. But it's Long Term Servicing Channel, and this is made specifically for enterprises. Now, when you install this, there are things that you you don't get. You don't get the Windows Store, so that means you get no Windows Windows Store apps. You don't get uh, Microsoft Edge, the browser that. Basically, no one uses because everybody's using Chrome and Firefox and, you know, things like that, independent of, you know, the operating system or they're using uh, what's uh, Apple's browser. They're using one of those, right? They're using one of those browsers. They're typically not using Internet Explorer and they're not using Edge because it's just not compatible. And rumors are that Microsoft is also abandoning Edge for a chromium based browser so why even get involved with microsoft edge right why even do that so um, now they have this ltsc um, it can only be activated in a few different ways um, mostly through volume activation so you need to have enough computers in your environment to, in order to be able to have a volume license key um, of course certain underground people may find other ways to activate it but we do not support that at all in any way so but here we go so there it is that's the screen right there that's what it looks like it's you know looks like windows if i click this this comes up enter my password and it goes into this is a virtual box so this looks pretty much like windows right Except for there's one small thing. What ha what's going to happen when I click the start menu button? It's going to fill the whole screen with garbage apps. No, it's not. It's only going to have a few little baby items in here. Not much of anything. 
this is what I want. This is what I want when I get a computer with Windows. I want, I mean, of course, this is, I have, you know, VirtualBox. This is a VirtualBox that I'm doing in this kind of demonstration because it's loaded on here as a, as a demo. So we've got just your basic Windows system things. You've got PowerShell, which I use all the time, which is fine. Uh, you got to have the ease of access, you know, kind of things. Your basic administration tools outside of the regular control panel. A couple of accessories. You've still got Internet Explorer. You got, you know, Paint, Notepad, all the basic things that you normally had when you got just base Windows. I mean, it still has some of the new, you know, fandangled control panel stuff. I just, this box isn't even activated yet because I haven't gone through that yet and connected to my network and, and stuff and activated it. But it's clean. I mean, the how fast, I mean, how fast this thing runs. I mean, this is a virtual box on top of, you know, my regular computer and things just pop up. I mean, things are just like, boom, I'm coming up, I'm opening because there isn't all this garbage behind it trying to, oh, I need to install this game. I need to do this game. I need to do this app that I'm never going to use. I need to do all this other crap. Microsoft should take this version. If Microsoft was any kind of company that really cared about its users, they would take this version with nothing on it, be able to turn all the crap off, and let people use it. I, I mean, really, realistically, I wouldn't even care if you actually installed and loaded the Windows Store. Just the Windows Store, mind you. None of the other apps, nothing else. I wouldn't really mind if you had the Windows Store sitting there and that's it. Nothing else. I don't need anything else. I don't care about anything else. You know, most people are going to be using their email through a web browser anyway. So why put all this stuff in front of them? Why make this so much harder for people to use. I mean, that's the whole point of it, right? Is Windows makes things easy. Well, no, it doesn't. Windows is making things more and more difficult for end users. I get calls all the time. People, oh, I clicked this button. I don't know. It loaded something. Something's going on. Why? Because a Windows Store app had an icon that Microsoft forced it when it did an update that they didn't recognize and they accidentally clicked it trying to find out what it was. And they didn't click right click to uninstall, they left clicked to install and load it on their computer. Now they got this thing loading and they don't know what to do. It's just horrible, horrible for their users. And I, I would call my, out Microsoft right now, release this version of your operating system for your regular users. Put the Windows Store and no other apps, that would be fine. But make it clean. Make it easy. That's the way Windows used to be. Windows 7, I could load that thing and have nothing installed. I could make it so clean that I could all install my one or two apps and be perfectly fine. Right? That's the way it should be. So, if you do have a chance or have the ability to get a copy of LTSC, play with it, mess around with it, um, I do have some scripts... There is a PowerShell script that you can take and completely remove everything from a Windows 10 box. And I'll do a demonstration of that in another video. But um, there is one PowerShell script. You just open a command prompt, open a PowerShell prompt, and run this. And it's going to pull everything off and make the system back to fairly clean, almost as clean as this, almost as clean as this right here. Pretty close. But, yeah. So anyway, again, I think Microsoft is messing up on Windows. I think they're doing a disservice to their customers. So let's, you know, I don't know if we, if we stop buying Microsoft Windows, you know, how do you do that? I need to buy a computer without Windows and then have people install it themselves. That's too hard. And trying to have people get, you know, a pre-built Linux computer for themselves. Those are very hard to find as well and usually more expensive. So it's, you know, Chromebooks. I guess that's why people go into Chromebooks. I mean, that's, it's easy. It's clean. You can power wash the thing and have it come right back to how it was factory and you log into your Google account and everything was, comes back. You know, I guess that's, that's the other. If you, so if Microsoft wants to answer to a Chromebook, get a home version of LTSC with nothing in it except 
the base, the very base stuff, no extra games, no extra programs, no extra anything, and you can add, leave the Windows App Store. I mean, that's that's fine. I mean, uh, Mac doesn't have a ton of extra apps loaded from the App Store when you get it. You have to go there, get them, and download them. You know, I mean, that's the way it should be. If you want something, go get it, download it because you need it, not because it's thrown in your face and then you remove them all because I don't want them and then you get, you know, the next version, you know, 1803 or 1809, whatever Windows version comes on and it updates your computer and all this crap comes back. It's it's horrible, horrible. You can tell I'm an IT person because I just hate that because I hate, it causes so much stress and so many problems with end users that, you know, you get to the point where you're done. You know, it's like, nope. Let's install, you know, <laughs> let's install Debian for you. Let's see how that works. See if you like that. Oh, wow, it works great. Okay. So, all right. Well, that's this video. If you can't play with LTSC, get it, use it, play with it. Um, you definitely have to be uh, buying up into, you know, the Microsoft system in order to do it. Get a certain licensing or Visual Studio with uh, uh, subscription kind of thing to definitely get it. Um, so, but there is hope maybe this will work its way down if enough people complain and clamor and hate on Windows and start leaving Windows, maybe they will, they'll do it. All right, well, thanks for watching this. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. Give me a bell. Give me something, anything just to help out my channel. I do make videos like this oh, what, three, four times a week um, on movies and TV and kind of things that I like, make videos on photography and videos on technology like this all the time. So thanks for watching and take care.